Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and firstly I'd like to say thank you to all of you who have been watching and especially to those people who are subscribing too, it means a lot to me um, to reach out and just say hello every now and again and talk about what interests me. Now today um, I'm actually answering a question that I came up on my Instagram about my wishbowl. Now I popped up a little video, a video short the other day about adding a feather to it and uh, yeah somebody was like what, what's a wishbowl and I think that's a really good question because I kind of think I made it up but that's okay we do these things so without tipping everything out this little wooden bowl here is what I call my wishbowl and I'll go through what it is and, and why I use it. Um, at the start of the year on New Year's Day I did a New Year ritual which consisted of me just basically jotting down everything I would like to manifest this year. I wrote on a paper and um, yeah that's the first thing that went into my bowl. Um, it went in with a, a lovely citrine crystal and since then I've just been adding things um, to it. On that day I also added in some two dollar coins and a little letter to the universe thanking, thanking it for the abundance that it provides. And since then, like I say, I've added in extra things, um, things that mean something to me that I just think are good talismans to have in here. Um, one of the other things I added in was this stone and it's kind of heart shaped, you can see, I turn it round. And this stone is just a pebble, just a little white stone. Um, but what makes it special to me is that my son picked this up, found it, picked it up and gave it to me for you, Mama. Um, and he was only about two and a half, maybe three at a push um, when he did that. And I think it was because he knew it was a love heart. So that went in recently. Um, I also put in some crystals, so I've got an uh, Aventurine, Tiger's Eye, um, Turquoise, and I'm not entirely sure what this one is, but I liked it. So, in it went, it made me happy. Um, when I started up this YouTube channel, which has just been a couple of weeks, so thanks for watching so far, um, I just wrote a little note to myself and drew the YouTube logo, you know, the red square with the arrow inside it, triangle. So that's gone in, along with a key. Now the key was there just to say um, I'd like doors to open for me, um, opportunities to come my way. Um, as I'd mentioned the other day, this went in, um, I think it was yesterday actually. Um, I'd been talking to my friend and we'd just been chatting and I happened to see this feather stuck in the grass, sitting upright, just along from where we were standing and I said to my friend Alicia, oh look there's, um, there's a feather for you because I know she, she looks out for them and she picked it up and as soon as she picked it up I was just like oh I'm going to ask her if I can have that because I think I need it, I don't know why. Um, and it's not something that I would usually do because feathers kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. Um, but she must have felt it too because she just turned around to me and went, here, I think that's for you. So even though I, I do not like the touch of feathers, I took it and I popped it into my, um, my wish bowl, my manifestation bowl. And perhaps it'll let me fly higher than I have been. I'm really not sure. And the last thing that I've added in recently, well just, you can't really see them. Tiny little rose quartz chips, um, just for some love. And I put in some more money, because I always think, you know, you can't expect money just to come to you. Um, you've always got to work for it. And, you know, sometimes spending money helps you make money. So giving money can do the same. So what I, the reason behind all of this, I guess, is because 
I think having these little things here that are important to me, and I'm just popping everything back in, remind me every day when I'm looking at it because it usually sits up here and I'm sitting at my desk. Um, it reminds me every day of the things that I'm working for. I don't expect the universe to give me anything. Um, I've asked for things, but they are just reminders to me of what I'm aiming for, what I'm trying to go out into the world and and get. Um, so really, it's reminding me, and I'll just pop my ball back, to work on what I want to manifest for myself and my family. And I just think it's a really nice thing to do. It's like having a it's like having a vision board, but with physical objects. And I know you can attach physical things to a vision board, but you know, I can take things away from there, I can add things in. And I've actually commissioned um someone to make me a a larger bowl <laughs> because it's only February and that thing is full. So I really want something that's specific for my needs. So in the next week or so, um, I'm, I'm going to pick the crystals that will be set into the bowl. It's a resin bowl. Um, I'm getting the triple goddess moons um, as an emblem into the bowl as well, because I feel a, a great affiliation with the moon. And I think that will help magnify my joy at putting things in there and, and my belief in what I'm doing. So really, that's my wish bowl. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic, but it's a bit of fun. And, you know, we all need a bit of fun in our lives. And I would encourage you to go out and do it yourself. You know, maybe write down some intentions for yourself, some things that you would like to manifest. And that's not just things incoming. That could be things going out into the world as well that you would like to maybe find some sort of way of volunteering in your community or paying back to people who have helped you. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean to be things that come for you. You could be wishing for something for somebody else as well. So anyway, if you give it a go, let me know. If you find this interesting, let me know as well. And I'll speak to you soon. Have a good one, people. Bye.